In, in the, the 60s, 60s, I made love to many, 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 women, many women, often outdoors, often outdoors, in the mud and the rain. The rain in the mud, and it's possible a it's man possible slipped a man in. Slipped in. It would be no, way, be of no way of knowing. I've been involved in a number of cults, both as a leader and a follower. You make more money as a leader, but you have more fun as a follower. I've been involved in a number of cults, both as a leader and a follower. You have more fun as a follower, but you make more money as a leader. I would describe Creed as an enigma to himself. He is in a limbo by trying to be a, a worker. He doesn't even know. Basically, for a couple of years at that show, I thought I was actually working at a paper company. I didn't know I was on a TV show. I thought I was getting paid pretty well. Um, but I just didn't want to rock the boat, as it were. Nobody steals from Creed Bratton and gets away with it. The last person to do this disappeared. His name, Creed Bratton. My favorite part about playing him was that um, I got to go from being the kind of a cool rock star cat to uh, this guy. <laughs> he would, uh, he'd, he'd, he'd celebrate. He, Creed uh, was like a broken tuning fork. Every time the camera would come around, I'd got to go, you know, up, up the ante. But he, he, he kept me on my toes for sure. <laughs> the funniest quality about the Creed character, I believe, is his cluelessness to uh, how scared everyone was of him. Because he was, uh, he was a frightening guy. But he, when you come into the office with blood on you, uh, you're stealing from people. Um, and then, then, he, then he found out how good he was at chess. He stole from everybody. On this. I mean, I don't even know how. I, if I was really that character, I'd be in jail, folks. That's, that's the deal. How was Creed able to keep his job? Well, that is a very good question. Uh, he knows where the bodies are buried. He knows who to uh, blackmail, who to uh, ask for a little uh, bakshish. That's Creed. That's what he does so well. It's Halloween. That is really, really good timing. I remember I was working on Bernie Mac and uh, Ken Quapis uh, came on the show. And I got friends with Ken and I heard about him doing The, the Office. And I, I, I called him and I lobbied, I lobbied and I went and I wrote my own character. I wrote this character and I ad-libbed a bunch of stuff and I gave it to Greg Daniels. And, uh, and, it, and a few days later they came and said, well, this is very funny stuff. And then I got that first shot with the Halloween episode um, with Steve Carell at Six Man Page Scene. The greatest moment was the, um, the Friday after it aired, it was a craft service and uh, Rain Wilson and, and John Krasinski came in the door and they saw me and they came over and they could both give me big bear hugs to get knocked out of the park. Buddy. Well, you know, I was, I was moved. I was moved. Thanks, guys. Well, I think everybody was this way. I was so lucky to be on that show and every day I knew I was going to go in and laugh with my friends. They're all great. But if, to be specific, I guess, getting to play the manager, I threw the keys to nobody. It's a beautiful morning at Dunder Mifflin. As I like to call it, Great Bratton. Keep it running. Did the, did the language, um, bow body, bow body. Bow body, bow body. What does the first B stand for? What are we doing? We're making acronyms. Okay, what does the first B stand for? Um, toward, the end, toward the finale, uh, a PA came to my, 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 my dressing room door and knocked on the door. He, he wanted me to uh, meet Greg Daniels in the office. I went in and Greg asked me how I, he thought the character sh my character should leave the show. And I told him I wanted to play my song, uh, All the Faces. Now, I didn't hear about it till the, uh, till the table read. We're over here at Universal on a big sound stage with the Universal people and, and, uh, everyone, their press and stuff like that. And I'm reading the script and toward the end of the script it says Creed Bratton sings his original song, All the Faces. I saw a friend today, it had been a while and We forgot each other's names But it didn't matter cause deep inside 
well, I, I almost started crying. I got so moved. It was a major, major gift to me, and I, I'm so thankful to everybody to allow me to do that. Why is this show so loved 15 years later? I think in these times we need something with, with a good heart and a, and a kindness to it. And even though it was cringeworthy comedy, it had heart and it, uh, it just touched a sweet spot. I think that truly The Office has a sweet spot for everyone or else they wouldn't keep coming back to it. I know uh, I, uh, I loved being on that show. And, uh, and I, apparently everyone else loved it too. So lucky us, all of us. Where would Creed be now? Well, we know the character Creed went to jail, but they wouldn't stand him there. He would con his way out. I think uh, he would get that attorney from, from the making of a murder and he'd con her into coming into the, uh, and get him out like that. You know, and he'd, he'd compliment her clothes so that he could get out of jail. <laughs> the only difference between me and a homeless man is his job. I will do whatever it takes to survive, like I did when I was a homeless man. If Creed was going to say goodbye and to, his, to this whole interview and stuff like that, I would advise you to watch your back. You'll never know where I'll show up or what may happen with Creed. I seem cute and nice, but I'm dangerous. <laughs>